On the heels of two Lordstown Motors executives resigning, we're hearing from the executive chairwoman tonight who will oversee the company until a permanent CEO is found. And after uncertainty about production, the president of Lordstown Motors says they have firm and binding orders for their, for their first two years. It's a new day at Lordstown and there are no disruptions and will be no disruptions to our day to day operations. Just one day after Lordstown Motors, two top executives resigned. The company's president saying Tuesday that they have enough orders and cash on hand to keep operating through next May. Currently, we have enough orders for production for 21 and 22. Uh, currently, uh, those are firm orders that we have for those two years. When asked if sales within the next two years are committed orders and how the company will know more orders will come in once production begins, Schmidt responded. But they are basically binding orders. They um, they are committed here in the last two weeks, reconfirmed orders. With the two years of the volume being reduced a little bit in 21 and the 22 target, we, we have enough capacity. Becky Roof now holds the company's chief financial officer position and Jane Ritson Parsons is the new chief operating officer. Becky has decades of leadership experience in both capital markets as well as reporting and controls. And Jane has decades of global leadership experience in brand building, as well as a successful track record of revenue growth. Lordstown shares were up 7.8 percent at 998 a share on the NASDAQ Tuesday. And you start seeing the production vehicle uh, produced. That's that's already past that investment stage. Once your vehicle gets into production, it's easy for people to start jumping on the bandwagon. Lordstown Motors concluded that the Heidenberg report was misleading, but did show inaccurate pre-order disclosures made by the company.